Well, uh, I've been uh, promising to do this for a long time. I used to do a public access program on um, on a cable TV public access channel on cable TV in Lincoln, Nebraska, United States of America, for about 30 years. This is a non-commercial, first come, first serve public access uh, channel, and I took a lot of phone calls, had a lot of discussions over those 30 years. And one issue that I discussed and still must discuss is the situation at a radio station I helped found. If any one person founded that station, KZUM, it was me. But other people certainly helped develop that station, some for the good and some for not, not the good. But at present, there is a, a group of people who have uh, somehow been able to seize power for themselves to make them the sole governing body of KZOM radio. They are uh, self-chosen, incestuous. It's an incestuous group. And it's pathetic that the uh, volunteers and the listeners have uh, permitted this uh, coup to take place by this group of, uh, of uh, board members. And it's changed over the years, but uh, they choose themselves. They are like uh, lords, they're aristocrats, anti-democratic forces at the station. And, and many volunteers, uh, most volunteers, uh, many listeners, most listeners have tolerated this kind of... Uh, a bullshit, actually, is what it is. It's uh, anti-democratic uh, power-mongering by a few people. This is a, a comment, I think, on the the dangers of the way power is distributed uh, today in the whole country. You have parts of America where there's uh, stronger resistance than in Nebraska. Lincoln, I think, uh, voted uh, for Hillary Clinton over Donald Trump, which is a, a good sign as did Omaha, but the rest of the state, in some places, 80% of the people voted for Trump. Trump, of course, uh, stole the election as Bush did in 2000. The uh, suppression of votes uh, in Wisconsin and Michigan, for example, in North Carolina, the um, Republican echo chamber, the um, the way in which uh, the FBI manipulated the outcome, the, the Comey uh, announcement of the, an investigation of uh, Hillary Clinton's emails at the last minute, the uh, Russian intervention with the, uh, the WikiLeaks disclosure of various uh, troublesome emails from the Democratic National Committee, uh, another example of that. <clears throat> Lots of manipulation, uh, corruption, uh, and of course the Electoral College is anti-democratic. Hillary won the popular vote by nearly three million voters, uh, votes. So it's, uh, it was an uh, unjust um, outcome. And uh, B uh, Trump is illegitimate, just as the board of directors of Casey Lim is illegitimate. And it, it really disturbs me that there is this um, serious problem of passivity in America because of alienation, depression, uh, people having uh, just trying to make a living, trying to get along, to endure. But as William Faulkner says, we have to not just um, endure, we have to prevail. The people, the democratic forces must prevail, whether it's at KZUM or overcoming the Ricketts regime in the, the state government of Nebraska, bringing down Paul Ryan's um, attacks on Medicare, his Ayn Randianism, his selfishness, uh, the Republican Party's glorying in selfishness, more tax cuts for the rich and super rich, Mitch McConnell, his own uh, repugnant manipulations in the Senate, anti-democratic actions, the choices of Trump for his cabinet, plutocratic cabinet, mainly. 
we have serious trouble. We have, this is, uh, as Lillian Hellman said, this is scoundrel time in America. And it has to be um, overcome. Good-hearted, progressive, moderate Americans have to organize nonviolently to overcome this uh, sexism, this racism, this climate change denial. Noam Chomsky has said that the Republican Party, uh, especially because of the, uh, the the nuclear arms race and the climate change denial, is the most dangerous organization in the world. I think that's true. And unless we stop this uh, most dangerous organization in the world, in the United States, the Republican Party, uh, the country could be lost. The world could be lost. And I'm not being sensationalistic by saying this. The, there could be a nuclear holocaust. The um, climate change denial will lead to even more danger, environmental danger in the future. And it is uh, clearly unwise. And Trump is a climate change denier, among other things. He's an authoritarian, collaborates with white supremacists like Steve Bannon, uh, Breitbart, uh, and it's white supremacism. It's a very dangerous situation. And I hope that uh, the social media, will, Facebook, um, YouTube, will help be a, a method through which massive organization against this uh, Trumpism, against this uh, reactionary uh, neo-fascist Republican Party will be overcome. And it, you saw the results of that, I think, on uh, January 21st uh, across the country. The massive uh, demonstration, nonviolent demonstration, led by women, but many other progressives, uh, participating uh, male and female, men and women, children, young people uh, participating in this uh, movement, the environmentalists, uh, human rights activists, feminists, um, anti-militarists, anti-imperialists, human rights activists, civil rights activists, many, many commendable progressive people coming together. And this uh, should take form again and again, powerfully take form through um, new elections that th throw out these scoundrels, through uh, massive demonstrations, through nonviolent resistance, civil disobedience, uh, resistance in the Congress, resistance in state legislatures, in city council chambers, uh, in um, school, school board meeting places uh, all across the country. Uh, social media can play a role in organizing effective, powerful uh, demonstrations of resistance that get results, that really get results in the world, that help us not just understand the world, but change the world for the better. And I hope that that is uh, what will take place. So I, I mentioned KZUM as a kind of case study in the promise of creating a, a community radio station, non-commercial, even anti-commercial uh, station, but how over the years, this started about 1973, how over the years that promise can be lost if reactionary stations like KFAB continue and reactionaries uh, get involved in these uh, so-called uh, community radio stations and, and take away the uh, structure, the, the non-profit, anti-profit, access, free speech, progressive nature of well, at least the way KZUM started, but how that promise has been lost to a significant extent. So I hope that example is instructive for a much wider range of struggle in the world, including at KZUM itself. Well, if you'd like to... Um, Send me a comment. Uh, you can go to Facebook. My name is um, Ron Kurtenbach, R-O-N, Ron, family name, Kurtenbach, K-U-R-T-E-N-B-A-C-H. Go to Facebook. I'd be interested in your participation there. That'd be an easy way to uh, say something about this, and we can continue the conversation, the debate, 
the dialogue, the discussion, and just see how this uh, can help. Well, thanks very much for uh, for listening, for watching. This it brings back lots of memories when I did a cable TV public access show on the public access channel in Lincoln, Nebraska for about 30 years. And I'm uh, having some feelings of nostalgia now, but uh, that's really not the issue. The issue is how do we move forward with progressive change, with nonviolent resistance to this uh, Republican Party, Trump, Pence, Bannon, Conway, Ryan, McConnell regime. How do we stop them? How do we turn the country in a progressive direction for equality, for liberty, for solidarity, toward multiculturalism, toward human rights, environmental wisdom? That's the issue. What do we do? What is to be done? Well, thanks very much for watching. And I'm uh, very pleased to have been able to turn to uh, YouTube through which to uh, reach you. So thank you. Uh, thank you very much.